Cavalier, the home team tonight. We take a look at their starting lineup. Jadeen White between the sticks. They have a back three of Giovanni Leng, Kyle Ming, and Shamar Watson. In the middle of the park, Christopher Ainsworth, Dwayne Allen, Mario Smith, and Kadela Irving up top. Chanel Thomas, uh, Jerome McCleary, and the 20 year old from Antigua and Barbuda, Jalmara Calvin. As we take a look at this Waterhouse unit, Kemar Foster, of course, the captain between the sticks, Nevada Blair, Keith Simpson, Elvis Wilson, and Keneal Hyde, the back four in the middle of the park, Andre Smith, alongside Devonte Walker, behind Nicoy Christian, Donald Thomas on the left, uh, Andre Fletcher on the right with a couple of goals beside his name, and of course, the new boy who's been impressive so far, Javain Bryan, with three strikes. As we take a look at the full-time highlights here, not a whole lot to write home, home about, to be fair. Chances were few and far between. Blair's ball inside the area. And uh, didn't get a proper connection on that one, Javain Bryan. This, this was flicked through. And uh, Fletcher forced a save from J.D. White. And here's McCleary. They're appealing for a handled ball there. Not the best clearance from Wilson and Ainsworth. <laughs> Placing that in the corner. Was it deliberate? You tell me. But Ainsworth thinks so. Getting by Kemar Foster in the process. And then not too long after, a little bit of fortune with that goal. There was a handled ball in the build-up. But uh, some good work here from Javain Bryan across the face of goal. And Donato Thomas with the finish. His second goal of the campaign. That was 1-1. One -one. Ainsworth. Dragging that across and the, the shot, the resulting effort wide of the mark. There was a deflection there. And then in the second half, Blair doing well. Jadine White with a hand on it. Sabine Bryan was lurking behind and then look at this run from Fletcher. And then in the end, the Thomas placing that wide of the mark and that was the end of the game as we take a look at the full-time statistics here Cavalier they had six shots four of which were on target Wardhouse had five shots three were on target they committed 14 fouls in Wardhouse three more than Cavalier a yellow card apiece though Cavalier with two more corner kicks than Waterhouse with five. And uh, Waterhouse having the majority of the possession in the end at 52%. Giovanni, I know that certainly you would have wanted to leave here with three points, but how do you feel about your performance today? Well, my performance is, it was off, but because we didn't keep a clean sheet, so I'm not really impressed. But nonetheless, we didn't lose. We get a point. It's always good to get a point. I know for you, you certainly love when you have those clean sheets, but you're certainly getting in the tackles and driving forward as well. Some important plays inside the area. You love to overlap as well, don't you? Yes, I do, man. It's a part of my game, you know? And as well, some telling headers in the area as well. We even saw some skill from those wide areas when you were dribbling down the, on the flank. So, important part of the attack you serve for Cavalier? Yeah, and that's how Cavaliers play, you know, overlocking centre box. So, whenever the, the space is there, I exploit every time, and that's the job I get. All right, just want to say to you, how much are you looking forward to the final of the Caribbean Club? That comes up in, in just a couple, well, a week or so from now. Well, we are fully focused on it, but as you know, we have like three or four more games in the Premier League, so we have to take it a step at a time, and we do the final when it comes. Yeah, tough set of fixtures. Get some rest and all the best. Congrats on your man of the match performance. All right, thank you, man. Giovanni Ling there.